for each one of us deal with God on our own accord. So sometimes he got to get us in a one-on-one -on -one situation, in a one-on-one -on -one spot to where he talking to us and to where we can just focus on him and hear what he got to say. Yeah, I am saying such and such a... Did somebody in your life all of a sudden start just acting funny out of nowhere? Somebody started just getting offended at the stuff that you said? Um, it seemed like without even trying, you pushing people away like, to where, or people cutting you off. They saying like, hey, they don't want to deal with you, different things like that. Whatever the case is, but you all of a sudden start finding yourself in an isolated place, really almost in your, um, none of your doing. That's God calling you into the office. And what I mean by that is, God deals with us one-on-one. -on -one. He, he, he's relational. He, he, he deals with us in one-on-one -on -one relationship. The relationship I got with him is not necessarily gonna be the relationship that my wife got with him. The relationship my wife got with him ain't necessarily gonna be the relationship my mama got with him. And so on and so forth. Each one of us deals with God on our own accord. So sometimes, he got to get us in a one-on-one -on -one situation, in a one-on-one -on -one spot to where he talking to us and to where we can just focus on him and hear what he got to say. The reason why I use the analogy of calling you into the office, whenever you was a kid in school, you might have been rah, 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 ha, 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 everything whenever, you know, it was going down, you in the lunchroom and stuff, or you in the classroom, you got in the principal's office, it was you and them one-on-one. -on -one. You'd have had the eyes on you, you'd have had the views on you, you'd have had the distractions on uh, of your classmates and your friends and stuff. So a lot of times your responses to everything were different. Or whenever uh, when a police officer is talking to you, when they're trying to get answers out of you and everything, they don't interrogate you in front of a whole police station. They don't sit you down in front of a group of people. They isolate you away from your friends. Whenever you talk to your boss at work, he doesn't talk to you in a group meeting. Yes, y'all have group meetings as a team and everything, but whenever it's something dealing with you and your performance and how they want you to act and how you to deal, they call you into their office and they sit you down across from them. So that's why I say sometimes God wants us away from our friends. He wants us away from those distractions. He wants us away from anything that will have our focus off of him and he wants to tune in and lock in with him. So that's why he'll call you into the office. So like I said, sometimes you might not have said nothing that was offensive, but what you said was what needed to get that person back away from you. What, so sometimes some of the things that you said might not have really been hurtful. You know your intentions weren't to hurt somebody, but they had to interpret them to as, as hurtful. They had to interpret them as something that they didn't want to hear at that time to back away from you so that they can back away so God can step up to you. So please just take your mind like to where if, if, if you find yourself in an isolated spot, look around at the spot you're in because you might be in God's office and it might be time for y'all to have a meeting.